Hey, sports fans, Coach Nick here, and welcome to B-Ball Breakdown. I heard on Twitter from Nikolai Herstov that Siska and Barcelona had an epic game, so I decided to take a look at the last two minutes to see how Barcelona pulled this one out. We start with the game tied at 89 all in overtime, and one of my favorites, Milos Teodosic, running pick and roll out top. Barcelona blitzes him, and he's able to get the bounce pass back to the top. This leaves a three on two in the half court. Olison has to rotate to the ball. Great decision to suck the defense in with the dribble first before finding Decolo wide open in the corner for a big three-pointer. Barcelona runs a simple cross screen for Tomic to force the switch and get in great low post position. Siska gets away with a double down from one pass away. Good closeout to contest the Dolman three, but because of that switch, Tomic gets good position and the rebound. Up by one after the two free throws, Teodosic brings the ball up against light pressure. Siska initially lines up in horns before bringing the strong corner up to ball screen. This was defended extremely well by Barcelona, but Teodosic is just too good. Wow. Barcelona comes down and runs pistol, but the timing is a bit off since that inside ball screen should be sooner. But it forces a switch, and Tomic has a big advantage against Teodosic in the post. Again, Siska doubles the post from one pass away. Great cut by Sadoransky, who looks like he not only gets fouled, but also has the ball knocked away before he traveled, yet the referees call it. Up by four with a minute to go, Siska is not in a hurry to take a shot. They spread the floor for a high pick and roll, more blitzing of the ball by Barcelona, and the pressure gets Siska out of its offense. Watch Sadoransky point for someone to close out on Voroncevic, and then watch his terrible closeout as he ends up behind Voroncevic. Fortunately for Barcelona, the ball handling on the dribble and the catch for the shot was fumbled, and here comes Barcelona with a chance. Barcelona doesn't have a lot of time, and down four needs to attack quickly in their offense. They line up in horns and choose the high post entry to the left side. More pistol action with the handoff to inside ball screen for Navarro. You can see why Siska wants Heinz on Tomic, since he's very physical down there. But watch the expert footwork of Tomic to keep his balance and use a right foot turn to get baseline and up on the other side for the reverse. Genial! Down two, Barcelona is very smart to press in the backcourt since they know Siska doesn't want to shoot quickly and won't be aggressive. They use the run and jump to double team twice, and Decolo was very smart not to take the bait and jack up this long three. Instead, he looks to attack and draws a foul. However, he only makes one free throw, giving hope to Barcelona. With 19 seconds to go, I'd argue that there was time to attack quickly, get a shot inside, then foul and get the ball back. Instead, Navarro gets away with a pretty bad offensive foul, but can't hit the shot. However, there's a foul on the rebound, and this one was also kind of hard to understand. After cutting it to one, Barcelona is in an all-out man-to-man pressure defense. Teodosic gets it in and gets fouled. He does his job and hits both, and now Siska is up three with 10 seconds to go. Now, in the US, most teams would foul the ball handler before the shot goes up so the other team doesn't get a chance to shoot a three. And you can see that Hines had three seconds worth of chances to just take the foul and put Arroyo on the free throw line. Instead, Dolman slips the ball screen. Kurbanov's poor footwork to get going to his right makes him a fraction of a second late contesting, and this game is tied up. Out of the timeout, Barcelona doesn't pressure the inbounder, so he can make it harder to get the ball in. But I don't understand why Siska didn't have a second player up to set an off ball screen in the backcourt. And then I really don't understand having the weak side wing cut back for the ball, making it a much longer pass for Teodosic. He throws it way too late. Great play to intercept the ball by Dolman and an easy jumper to win the game as Decolo can't make the desperation shot at the buzzer. The lesson for Siska here is that they needed to foul one up by three and give Barcelona the chance for only two points and to run a much better press break to get the ball in bounds. Fantastic game, and I look forward to seeing more from some of my favorites in Teodosic and Tomic.